This is Mistakes in the Making. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Brandon Hirsch, and I'm here to talk about mistakes. Um, I guess, you know, the mistake that I chose, and there, there have been uh, quite a few, um, but I had to choose one that made me better. And one of the mistakes that I made um, was more so as a writer. Um, and I'll clump this in because it affected me as an artist uh, as a, for what I do on camera, um, probably even more so as that was more, much more of an active thing that I was actually pursuing. Um, several years ago, I got, you know, in my zeal to sort of uh, explore this, uh, my uh, capacity uh, for, for writing um, and passion for writing. Um, I was presented a, a project and the project was presented to me with the, the concept, you know, the person was said to me, Hey, I know that I can get this movie made. And, you know, after several interviews and, um, you know, uh, lots of beer drinking and coffee talk and all of this sort of stuff. I decided to, you know, enter into an agreement with this person, uh, to, uh, execute on this script. And, um, it was a multi-year process, which I knew, uh, that would, you know, likely be, uh, be the thing, but it was a multi-year process that, it sputtered. It was uh, emotionally uh, draining, and it really did. Um, it really did. This it, it, it took something away. Like I lost. It eroded my passion. It eroded my desire to pursue uh, writing, and you know, not to to toot my own horn, but I was pretty good at it. Unfortunately, like I, n- I never wrote anything that was in or, uh, marketable. And I'm talking about, uh, screenwriting and anything that was in or necessarily marketable. And I had a couple of shorts that we shot and that was pretty much where it lied for me after this project. So that was a huge mistake. Um, I spent a lot of time away from my fiance slash wife um, from my newborn child. Um, and then I spent a lot of time, uh, investing in that project that I could have been investing, uh, uh, in myself as an actor or even investing in other people in, in the community, uh, time that I would never, ever get back. Um, so that was a huge mistake. However, um, having made that mistake in such a, uh, in such a, uh, tremendous way, um, it really got me to a point to where I, I started to reevaluate, um, what it would take for me to engage in anything, uh, whether it was on camera or, uh, when again, honestly, I, I haven't written anything since I haven't opened up final draft since, um, and, and a lot of it still has to do with, uh, for lack of better terms, the, the trauma that I, um, that I brought upon myself uh, by putting myself in a situation that I honestly, I, if you would, if you had been somebody else, uh, if somebody else had brought me that scenario, I probably would have advised them to, you know, get some level or some shape or uh, some style of compensation in order prior to engaging. Uh, but I didn't do that. I, I went on, I went on faith um, and I was wrong. So I learned that I can be wrong. And, but it, it also, again, it, it forced me to reevaluate the way, um, uh, what would, what it would take for me to engage fully in, in projects. Uh, I have people come to me with some wonderful projects and say, um, you know, Hey, but this is what we have to do this with. And, and sometimes I'd, I'd have to say no, because it was going to cost more than it was going to return. Um, and I need ROI, whether it's mentally, physically, or spiritually. Um, at any point when I'm doing these things now, uh, time is finite. And that's really, really important to me. So it's a big mistake. I, I got involved in a project that I, I, I knew better than to get involved in. I got into it for free. And I allowed it to go on much longer than it should have. And um, it took something away. It, it sort of uh, uh, it, it, uh, eroded um, something 
that was really, really important to me. And I still, as of yet, and I've, I've forgiven those people and forgiven myself, but I've still yet to, um, to open that, uh, open that up again. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but it's made me better because, uh, the quality of the projects that I, uh, audition for and thus accept and am offered is uh, significantly better than it was at that time in my life. And, uh, just valuing my time and the time of others to the degree that I, I manage, uh, I manage inquiries and offers with a, a much, much greater scrutiny. Uh, I can be a very, very difficult. Yes. Um, ask the guys about getting me on this podcast. <laughs> um, I can, I can, sometimes I have to be chased around, but, um, you know, but once I say yes and I'm fully committed, then I'll, I'll show up and I'll hit my mark and, uh, and, and say my lines. So that's, uh, that's what I got. That was my big mistake. If you would like to check out any of my future exploits or any of my, you know, stay up to date on my current projects or anything like that, uh, you can find me at I am B Hirsch. That's I am B H I R S C H at Instagram or on Twitter at the same handle. I'm also on Facebook, Brandon Hirsch. I haven't maxed out of my 5,000 uh, uh, friends yet. So you can come and join me. Uh, I'm a little more active on Instagram, but come check me out. If you have any uh, questions or anything, you can actually I'll give my email address. <laughs> actually, you know, DM me. I don't want to see. There I go. There I go again, giving too much. Um, I am B Hirsch at uh, Instagram is probably your best bet. Thanks so much. You've been listening to Mistakes in the Making. If you have your own mistake that you've made while in the film industry and you want to let others know so they don't make the same mistake, reach out to us at contact at bonsai.film and we'll take it from there. You can also reach out to us on social media at underscore bonsai creative on Instagram and Twitter. And you can search for us on YouTube and Facebook by searching for bonsai creative. You can also visit our website where we have industry insights and links to all of our podcasts and so much more at www.bonsai.film. And thank you for listening.